In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving factorization with the Casio FS, another one ES plus scientific calculator, first and second so multiple choice questions. Basically, I have not recorded any video on solving factorization with the Casio calculator. So after going through this video, you will be able to solve problems involving factorization with the Casio calculator especially for multiple choice questions so ensure you stay with me to the very end of this video having known that let's get the Casio calculator and go into the details of the video so this is Casio FS another one ES plus scientific calculator so the very first thing you have to do will be to reset it or to clear it to do this you press shift button 9 for the instruction you press to then press equal to press equal to again or AC key that's this one anywhere you want to press system around so we have clear the calculator the next thing you will have to do will be to store a value we use to simplify the question and also use it to simplify the options or evaluate the options to get your answer okay so you know you can choose to store any number you want but i recommend that you should work with two okay so we're going to start two on this calculator you press two shift I will say button then I want to store it as x this is x button and it will indicate that 2 has been stored as x on the calculator so the question 1 we have they asked to factorize x cubed minus 1 so we go ahead and impute x cubed minus 1 here so bring an x on the calculator you press alpha x cube press this shift x square button minus 1 okay let's press the quarter and see what it's going to give us so we have seven okay right now we're going to simplify the options anyone that gives us seven will be the answer basically so option a is in bracket we have alpha x that's x minus five first alpha x for it okay close the brackets open another bracket we have s square plus x okay plus one close the bracket let's see if we're going to have seven with this option seven so correct our answer to this question is option a so basically when you factorize this expression s q minus one we're going to have this as foot s minus one in bracket in another bracket s square plus x plus one so that's it for question one Let's solve one more question before we call it a class. So question two says we have to factorize s cubed plus six s square plus eleven x plus six. Okay, so as usual, we use the store value on this calculator, which is two, to simplify the question. So then we have s cube alpha x. If we shift this s square button, then we have plus six s square alpha x square plus. 11x alpha x plus 6 okay so let's press the quote and see what we're going to have as the value so we have 60 okay so right now we're going to simplify the options with the same store value and see the one that give us an output of 60 and that will basically be the answer to this question so let's evaluate or simplify option a is in brackets we have x that alpha x plus two we close the brackets open another bracket we have alpha x plus three close the brackets open another bracket we have alpha x plus five close the brackets that's it let's press of course and see what we are going to have as our answer we are going to get 60 140 no so let's check option b and see what's going to give us let's just adjust it here the difference here is that we have one here for option b and we have two here okay and we have the way here so let's press the quotes and see if we are going to get 60 as our output is correct so our answer is what option b so guys this is basically how you can solve problems involving 
factorization with the cast series calculator is that fast multiple choice questions hope you learned something interesting from this video let's call it a class here if you are new to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this also like share and comment on this video to tell me how you feel what you have learned from this class if you seem to have any specific questions asked regarding this video feel free to give your question at the comment section below and i'll ensure to give you a response so don't forget to declare a calculator once you are done just press shift button 9 for the instruction and your calculator will be cleared so that's it for this video i will see you in my subsequent video